What's up guys, Borg here from VIP Shop Management. This is a tutorial video on uh, suspension check of brakes and sus suspension checklist. This is very important. We're gonna talk about why is it designed this way and how to use it to maximize your revenue. It's really important. Let's check it out. Let's say we wanna do a suspension checklist on this uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're gonna click on the VI right here and brakes in suspension. VI, uh, VI stands for vehicle inspection. Keep that in mind. So VI, brake suspension. So the way it's designed is four tires, right? You know, the vehicle has four tires, really simple. We need to know what's going on on each tire. I don't care how small it is, and I don't care how big is it. You know what I mean? We gotta know what's going on, especially if we're doing alignment, right? If the tire needs to be replaced, the rim is bent, the, the control arm, there's some play in it, the bearings are some play in it, the brakes are bad. We gotta know all the stuff, and we design it in an easy way for the for the technician as I used to be a technician for 15 years I needed something really simple I just want to click on it I don't want to type anything just click on it with use the Surface Pro 9 I keep saying make sure you get the Surface Pro 9 as we're working with Surface Pro 9 to make sure you know everything fits Surface Pro 9 just perfectly and so for for easy use easy to use for the technician so we just really simple just click on let's say let's say we're gonna check the, the right you can have two people doing it one clicking and the other checking either or you know whatever you prefer so click on start and with the first thing we need to check right is the tire I want to know is the tire bad is it worn you know we have all these options check yes if it's really bad just just put red right but if you if there's something more than that you can go even worn worn unevenly misaligned you know i can i can tell the stuff right is the wheel fine yeah the wheel's fine how about the brake pads are they low are they worn are they grided are they rusted you know in michigan here we have rust issue more than anything the brake pads could be 95 percent but they're rusted when they're rusted they're not working the way they're supposed to be let's say rusted right here brake rotor if the, those are rusted i'm sure those are rusted too Brake caliper, brake caliper, is it leaking? Is it stuck? You know, if, if there's rusted, we need a, we need to put a brake caliper too because most likely everything rusts, you know, that boot get rusted too. So brake caliper rusted too. Brake hose, if it cracked or, or it's fine, let's say it's fine. This wheel bearing, how's the wheel bearing? See, after we check the brakes, we check the tire. And then if we check the brakes, right? And then after that, we need to check the suspension. Now we're looking for suspension, wheel bearing. You know, you gotta spin it. Remember, you spin it and put your hand on the strut to make sure, like, you know, if it gives you that vibration. Let's say it's noisy and it's a wheel bearing. Most likely, if those are rusted, this is rusted too. And, you know, the strut, is it fine? Let's say it's fine. The coil spring, make sure you check the coil spring on all four. I, there's times I missed it. I, you know, the, the rear spring, sometimes they're broken and you don't see it. You think everything is fine. And, you know, let's say upper control arm, fine. Tie rod, inner, outer. Swaber link, they're always bad. And the other, forget it, don't have to use it. So we're done, that's it, finished. So see, we did the first tire, it says fail. The beauty of that, if I close and then I come back, whether now or in the future of brake suspension, I know this tire is failed. There's something wrong there. All I have to do is click on it to see what's going on. All right, let's say the right front tire, you know, same thing, the brake pads, you just need pads and rotors and a wheel bearing right here. Let's check everything else, uncheck this one, and then finish. And finish. And now let's go to uh, start the rear. Let's say the rear are fine, pass the rear, and pass the rear. And see how beautiful is that? Now we know what's going on. All right, the front side, there's work needs to be done on the le left front and the right front, which should make it really cool. And it saves. Let's look at it. Let's see how it look like anyway. So if we click on, go back, and this is the print button in the middle right here. So let's see how it looks like. Print to preview. You can print it to the customer. You can text it to the customer. You can email it to the customer. You can bring it, print it to your technician. All of that beautiful, just amazing. With the new printing style that we have, we compressed everything up top. And, and the invoice itself now, it automatically collapse when it needs to collapse it automatically collapse it's beautiful let me show you this before I go say put some stuff right here authorize authorize put the mileage
So look at it. Look how it compressed at the bottom. Usually in the, in this kind of invoice before it used to do two pages. Now we don't want a two pages if we can compress it and make it fit in one page. And it looks beautiful. It was designed by one millimeter at a time. Let me explain. It was designed by one millimeter at a time. There is no one in the industry that has something similar to this. We are the number one. We even like ask customers to see what they feel about it. They all love it. Anyway, appreciate you guys until next time. Thanks for watching.